Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on the world of big data. Today, my guest is from SGI. We have Bob Bram. He is the chief marketing officer at the company. So, so Bob, welcome to the show today. Thank you, Rich. I'm happy to be here. Well, well thanks for coming on, Bob. You know, we, we've, we've hosted SGI on a number of occasions, but I think this is the first time we've really uh, drilled down into big data. And you guys got some new stuff in the works, don't you? We do. We're pretty excited about it. Well, well, here, here, I brought your slides up. Why don't we go through that, and we'll follow it with the uh, Q&A. Okay, that sounds good. So as you mentioned, uh, SGI has been known for a number of years in the high-performance computing or HPC space. Uh, we've moved recently into big data. We've had big data products out there right now. It's about a third of our business today. And what I wanted to talk with you and your audience about were some new products we're introducing to enhance our footprint in big data. So why don't we go to the next slide? This is really a summary of so where, where we've been at SGI, things like 25 years plus of innovations with a number of employees. If you look at the right-hand side, however, some interesting numbers. People don't realize that we're almost an $800 million company. And the other thing they don't realize is that we've actually, we're generating cash. We're, we're very profitable. Uh, our stock has tripled over the past 16 months, so Wall Street likes the message. And a lot of it has been simply leveraging what we've done historically in the area of HPC and leverage that into the much broader, higher growth market of big data. So at the bottom half of this slide, sort of gives you in a techno geeky manner sort of the things we've been doing from subatomic research all the way to the things in the you know, many tens of uh, orders of magnitude of petabytes of sorts of problems we're trying to solve. Things like having the world's fastest supercomputer, uh, the world's most complicated genome exploration uh, area, uh, we work with Dr. Stephen Hawking and NASA on finding the next Earth. But these are all kind of niche markets. As we looked at it critically, we thought, you know, they're not going to get us to the next level up. It's only going to take us so far. And that's why we focus so much of our energy on this wild, wild west we call big data. This is a chart produced by IDC, which really explains what's happening in the world of data explosion. There's a 10-year window from 2010 to 2020 that IDC predicts the amount of data in cyberspace will grow by a factor of 50, 50x. But the resources allow the IT professionals and line of business professionals to support that data will only grow by 50%. That gap represents an opportunity for vendors, not just SGI, but the whole industry to provide automation, to provide leverage, to manage all that data. And this data explosion is causing pain. You can see here five common pain points that we've talked to customers, partners, industry analysts about in describing things like stretching IT resources all the way down to inhibiting the ability to conduct the real-time analytics they need to get value from that data that's so difficult because the amount of data is growing so rapidly. How do you manage it all to harness goodness? So if we go to the next slide, what we're introducing are four new products really aimed at providing additions to the things we're doing today to really accelerate time to value, enable petabyte scale. So Everybody associates SGI with bare metal performance. We're fast, we're SGI. We also do things in volume, petabyte plus environments. And the net net is that we lower costs to really grapple this issue of big data. So the four new product announcements are this. Number one, a, a rackable, I'm sorry, x86 server. We call the SGI Infinite Data Cluster. It's optimized for Hadoop performance in half the footprint of traditional offerings today. Second, we integrate this solution at the factory. So we provide a lot of service at the factory to make it ready to roll so you go from box to production in days, not months, and it saves hundreds or thousands of setup hours. Second, a new Hadoop, what we call public sandbox, which is essentially Hadoop as a service playing with Hadoop online. Third, what we call SGI object store. So one of the hot areas in storage today is object storage. A few vendors have it. It is really going to undermine the market leaders. We're a challenger in that space, and we're coming up with a solution that can save you 40% in storage costs. 
And then finally, a solution we introduced in the spring, Rich, called the Infinite Storage Gateway. We're adding a new search engine to not just manage petabyte plus data environments, but really locate desired data much more quickly. So these four capabilities really into bare metal performance and managing petabyte plus environments. I'm going to spend the next few slides giving the audience a little more detail on these four offerings. So first, our brand new SGI Infinite Data Cluster. We've actually been selling this solution. Uh, we announced it to the sales force in the summer. And this has propelled us already with our current offering and the new offering to actually own 8% of the Hadoop market. 8% of the servers sold on Hadoop say SGI. It's a little known fact. There are two things we do with the Infinite Data Cluster to authorize performance. Number one, we offer a one-to-one -one core storage spindle ratio. And we live with standard Intel processors, Xeon processors. But what we end up doing is that rather than having eight drives in our server tray, we offer 12 four terabyte drives. So it's not about software or electronics, it's about packaging. So this can yield up to 50% greater performance just by the drive packaging by itself. Secondly, we have a unique uh, half-depth rack that lets us put twice as many servers in the rack as our competition, up to nearly two petabytes of storage per rack, whereas our competition is not even at one petabyte. So these are two things we use from our packaging of the products to really increase performance. The other area I talked about was services and integration. Let's go to the next slide. So what we do is that we pre-rack, pre-configure, pre-test Hadoop based on today Cloudera, more partners to come with Red Hat, so that you can move from box to production in just a matter of two or three days. In fact, we have a, a customer in the federal government, can't give you the name, of course. They had almost 100, had about 140 racks. And they said, SGI, you saved us nearly a million hours in setup time with this highly complicated environment so we could move from pilot to a real production system very quickly. So this is a win for both IT organizations and line of business to realize the goodness of Hadoop very quickly in a highly productive environment. Also in Hadoop, the second offering we talked about our SGI Hadoop Sandbox coming in the fourth quarter of this year. What we're going to do is offer Hadoop as a service. So up to 10 server storage nodes, pre-configured with Cloudera and Red Hat, Go ahead and do an online proof of concept. Saves you from having the people and CapEx. That's a build POCs in-house. Quickly do an online proof and see what works for you. So these are the two offerings we have for Hadoop. While it's not as sexy to talk about as much as bare metal performance, storage is consuming a huge part of the IT budget today. Gardner Group reports that storage will be about 45% of the IT budget and it's creating tremendous problems as organizations scale into petabyte-plus environments that are just additional areas of distortion you don't have to deal with until you hit the petabyte-plus world. Let's go to the next slide to talk more about how this storage acceleration is causing problems. So most analysts report IT budgets today are supposed to be flat. Overall, that is. Storage will be up 10%. So that this is growing faster than the IP budget, and it's growing faster than most enterprises' ability to consume the storage. You can see some numbers on the left and the graphs on the right showing the acceleration in storage revenue in terabytes, terabyte ships. And this is really driven by the growth of unstructured data. Yes, there's still Oracle and SAP implementations growing and you know, relegating more structured relational databases, but the notion of unstructured data, which used to be as simple as PowerPoint slides, Excel spreadsheets, now becomes videos, and today becomes machine to machine, so things like log files for all the Google searches taking place. Sensors at the Olympics or other events taking uh, lots and lots of data, jamming it into a select number of machines. This is driving tremendous data growth that causes problems for administrators. So what are we offering to help with this? Let's go to the next slide. SGI Object Store, what we call storing data at extreme scale with object technology. Also, some people refer to it as the software-defined storage. Everything is software-defined these days. But right now, we'll be able to offer unlimited files and file, file size to accommodate those large environments. 
it uses a ring topology, which is a peer-to-peer -to -peer technology, whereas most of the software-defined architectures have a very expensive hub with many spokes. This is simply a peer-to-peer. -peer. So it allows petabytes of data to be shared in a storage pool for thousands, even up to millions of users, generally in a private cloud. And you can burst to the public cloud, like an Amazon S3. We're doing some testing now with uh, um, ESG, the well-known uh, 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 analyst company, who's coming up with a report showing that we get exceptional performance, almost equal to a SAN-based solution, so you're not suffering any degradation. SGI Object Store also lowers your storage total cost of ownership. 50% savings in physical storage costs versus enterprise RAID or versus the public cloud in as quickly as two years. Industry-leading storage density, that's almost three petabytes per rack. Try doing that with a competitive offering. So it lowers your footprint, lets you put more punch into your data center, also uh, consumes less power. And then finally, because of the unique architecture, no controllers, no RAID rebuild. Any storage administrator managing a block environment with SAN and controllers will tell you, this is a very big time sink that we simply take off your plate. So SGI Object Store. Now, we actually have a very broad fabric we introduced in the spring that this plays into. Let's go to the next slide. While there are several solutions for object storage, we built SGI Object Store into what we call our active archive. The hub of that is called the Infinite Storage Gateway to store massive amounts of data, petabyte plus, for as little as one-tenth the cost of primary storage. And in fact, we even have an ROI calculator um, on our website right now. We're enhancing the infinite storage gateway with what we call the LiveArc AE for SGI infinite storage, which allows you to do automatic indexing of metadata and contents for all files moved to our gateway. So you get essentially a global namespace to, to view the entire archive, which is as little as one-tenth the cost of the storage you're placing on EMC, NetApp, Hitachi, IBM, HP, so a heterogeneous environment to drive down the uh, cost of storing data, and it's typically data that's not being used very often. So let me show you how this whole fabric works with the uh, object store, infinite storage gateway, and the new search capability. Let's go to the next slide. What we say at SGI is that it's aligning the right storage at the right time. So here we have what we call vendor one, vendor two. It can be anybody's storage, and I listed all kinds of heterogeneous players out there, Hitachi, IBM, HP, EMC, et cetera. What analysts are sharing is that up to 85% of that data is sitting at rest, being used very infrequently, maybe once or twice a year. So what we do, we scan the data on those drives, and with policies based by the users, we move that data from the expense of share A over to share C, which is the infinite storage gateway, much less cost, and then that data can be triaged to even lower cost storage mechanisms. MADE, which is our own nearline storage. TAPE, yes, people do still use TAPE. Object storage, remote for DR or the cloud. So this automatically lets users move data from expensive primary storage onto less expensive storage, and with our new search capability, all the files can be seen online, all the files can be indexed very, very quickly. So Rich, that's the four offerings we have. On the final slide here, I'll summarize it again. Set of new products, the Infinite Data Cluster, which is Hadoop performance optimized and half the footprint, and we factory integrate to save you the setup time. Public Hadoop Sandbox, so take away the notion of lots of CapEx and people, it's Hadoop as a service. The new SGI object store saves up to 40% in cost. And our infinite storage gateway introduced in the spring, a new search engine to locate desired data very, very quickly. And that's the launch we have here in the new product from SGI. Rich, I really appreciate the chance to talk to your audience. And I'd love to entertain any thoughts or questions you might have. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for that, Bob. So a question about, uh, well, let's start at the beginning, I guess, the infinite data cluster. You know, as you know, the Intel just doubled the cores, right, with the Ivy Bridge um, um, Xeon processors, right? So you've got this. Uh, That's correct. And you're doing a one-to-one -one ratio. Does that put pressure on you from an engineering perspective? You know, uh, you're trying to do one-to-one, -one and you've got that same amount of space. Uh, how were you able to pull that off? 
It's a great question, and uh, what we actually love to do is show people the architecture. So typically on a, on a motherboard, I mentioned the comment that's really about packaging for us versus software or improved ASICs and electrons. Uh, a typical motherboard has devices on one face. We actually take a corner of that motherboard, create a hinge, and develop a second motherboard, and they actually act as a sandwich one on top of the other. So you get essentially double the density. And our rocket scientists at SGI have designed this so that you just pack more on there with this sandwich type of configuration, taking up no more additional space. That's how we pack more on there. Yeah, and, and, and as you engage with these, these big data customers, is density, is, is, that, a, a, is that a key uh, differentiator for you in that space? I think what we're finding, I've talked to so many IT leaders, Rich, who say, hey, Bob, I, and not just at SGI, throughout my career, the last 10 to 15 years, they said, I'd love to buy more product, but I don't have space and I don't have power. So by consuming half the footprint and far less power, we're able to overcome that hurdle. And sometimes it's a TCO issue. Sometimes it's just a barrier to entry. They can't put the equipment in the data center. So that's one aspect of this configuration besides the performance that takes the problem off the plate of the IT leaders. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Bob, you know, you know, listening to the overall talk, it, it, it strikes me that SGI is uh, really a data company versus uh, what I've always thought of them as, is a supercomputing company. I, is that just a shift in perception, or is that, uh, you know, just where you're headed? No, it's a great question, and it's really where we're headed. The notion of uh, being a data company and really managing data and accelerating the processing of data to be used for value, it's just a broader set of problems. And we've been told by many analysts, customers, partners, well, you can just take your existing technology, certainly modify it, but go into that area. Uh, one of the things that we are looking at right now that we didn't have to do quite to the same extent is working with significant independent software vendors, ISV. So we've talked about Cloudera and Red Hat today, two very good partners with us. You can expect to see us add to that catalog of that list, and we're going to focus on the top few, the real marquee names, who can improve the performance and manageability of their application or their software with our systems. And Bob, on this, uh, um, what I what I thought was interesting on your 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 public sandbox for Hadoop, you know, and and what you describe with infinite data is that. We all know setting up Hadoop is a pain. It's a platform. It's not something you just uh, you you boot up like a, a Linux uh, ISO, right? So, uh, correct. You know, is that another focus for the company is to remove the pain points and and ease that installation and uh, to make you uh, you know kind of stand out in the crowd. It's a great question. In fact, that that's a big deal for us. I mentioned before we had eight percent of the uh, market share of servers for Hadoop. And a lot of that is really based on the high end. I mentioned one customer with 140 racks. And at 40 racks and above, that's really where we shine. And what we have found is that today, the average Hadoop installation, Rich, is only 12 nodes. And it's mm. been there for a while. What we're finding is that um, organizations are struggling getting value from Hadoop. And to your point, many of them struggle just getting the thing set up. So if we can alleviate that pain point from a customer, get them productive quickly, and show them a path to scale from proof of concept a la 12 nodes to a real industrial strength environment, we think we can make a contribution to the marketplace. Now, if the customer is always going to stay in a small and medium configuration, that's not our space. You've got to know where you play. Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of a wrap-up question here, Bob. I mean, how easy is it for a new customer to kick the tires on this? Uh, do I have to be an established, long-time SGI <laughs> <laughs> stalwart to get in on, on things like the sandbox, or how does it work? We love new customers. In fact, you can, you'll be able, you will be able to access the sandbox through our website. Uh, if you want to try an on-site POC later on, we actually offer small starter kits with the same benefits of our big pro, with our big systems. So, no, we'll be locked and loaded for, uh, for a broad distribution of the sandbox, ready to go. Well, terrific. Well, Bob Brim, I want to uh, thank you once again for uh, coming on the show today. Rich, thanks. It's been a pleasure to talk to you and address your audience. All right. All right, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on the world of big data.